Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to the final episode in my Sims 101 tutorial series. And today I'm going to be talking about elders and custom content and mods. There seems to be a lot and they seem to be unrelated, but actually they are. And you're probably wondering who is this gentleman in front of us? This is Anton. This is Vincent's dad. And what I did, I went into create a sim and I added him to the household. I made him a clone of Vincent so that he'd look like Vincent, but you know, just changed his hair, gave him different clothes. And then I brought him into the game. And how he ties in with mods is that I have a mod installed called MC Command Center. And what this mod does, it lets you take control of um, a lot of the cheats that are in the that are included in the game and let you change different things so when Anton came in he came in as a sim with nothing no skills no job no anything I gave him a job and I promoted him until I oh know that's Vincent I promoted him until he became chief of staff which is level 10 of the doctor career and you know, you can do lots of different things with mods and mods and custom content, they are no way endorsed by EA uh, and Maxis. They know they exist. They welcome the modding community. They are quite happy to help the modding community and they acknowledge that these, you know, that these mods exist for the game. But they also tell you if you install any mods in your game, it's at your own risk. You know, if you break your game, it is, you can't go back to EA and say, well, look, your game's broken, please fix it. They're not going to fix it because you broke it. That being said, there's lots of different places where you can get mods from. Um, I'll include links in the description to the sites that I use. As with any other files that you want to install on your computer, there are the, the good sites and bad sites. It's up to you to do, res do some research and see what you want, what is the best place for you to go and you know what kind of mods you're looking for now for cc most people call you know things pertaining to the sims and their appearance as cc and mods tend to be bigger things like um the mc command center and cc a lot of people they download clothes they download different hair different textures makeup you name it, as long as it can be added into The Sims, they've added it. Um, so you're probably wondering, how do you install mods in your game? Well, you go to Documents or My Documents, depending on which version of uh, Windows that you're using. So you go to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and inside The Sims 4 folder is a folder called Mods. And inside this this folder is one file resource.cfg and you don't touch that leave that file alone but that mods folder is where you would install all your custom content and what I tend to do is that you can put folders within the mods folder but you can only put in one folder you can't put in nested folders so you can't put for example um, um, multi MC and then inside that folder put another folder and inside that folder put another folder your mods are not going to work and wherever you download your mods from they will all explain in detail how you install the mods all right so as you can see I have quite a few folders and in those folders are all the files that are needed for these different bits of CC now in my game I have I don't have any um, creator sim custom content, but I do have build mode custom content. Uh, where are we? Let's go to search by function, show all, and you can filter things. It will show you all the new things as usual, but if you go to filter items, you can filter by things that you've unlocked, things you've purchased, or custom content. And if I click on custom content, it will show me everything that I have downloaded that is custom content. 
and you can see from the little spanner up in the left hand corner that that's a little sign that denote, donates its um denotes sorry that it's custom content so all the stuff that i have installed in the sims 2 they had a ikea um family pack and somebody has very brilliantly converted it to the sims 4 so i've been i've downloaded that so all of this is all from the ikea stuff pack and also the same modder has no let's see they've converted a lot of the sims 2 floors and hardwood floors it's hardwood floors carpets tiles different things so if i put all you can see there's all the hardware floors different carpets there's tile and masonry so yeah so i mean i got a bit nostalgic for that because i i did i do love the sims 4 sims 2 sorry and i don't think they have enough carpet choices in the sims 4 and this is just perfect so that's how you see what custom content you have in your game so let's go back to see what vincent and everyone else is doing so anton let's play the dogs oh yogi's not feeling well okay let's get you off to what time do you go to work two hours Anton, you go to work in a couple of minutes. And Liberty, you're sleeping. But you've got two days. Well, you can take Yogi to the vet. And while we take Yogi to the vet, we can talk about... Okay. We can talk about other things. Okay, take to vet clinic. Because that is also one thing we have never done. So let's go. Because if you have the pets um, expansion pack, one of the things is that your pets will get sick. So you can take them to the clinic to get them better. You can also own clinics as well. But I haven't really touched on that. Okay. Did we... Oh, okay. I didn't want to do that. I thought we were taking Yogi to the to the vet, but we've followed <laughs> we followed Anton into work. That's a bit random. Let's switch to Liberty. Ah, switch control to Liberty. Uh, he's at work. Yeah, we know that. All right, take to vet clinic. I thought that's what we were doing. And Vincent, you can household pay the bills. Okay, so when you take your vets to the clinic, everything that you need to do will be um, will be highlighted. So we want to sign them in to cure their sickness. We don't want to to spay spay is it? to spay yogi okay oh i didn't know you could unspay okay unspay or unneuter but that's fine but basically you just follow the instructions and you i mean it's all very self-explanatory Oh, poor Yogi. Comfort Yogi. That's pretty sweet. Okay, get your pet examined, so let's follow the lady.
okay, let's get the expensive treatment because it's Yogi. And Yogi is better. Just like that. Okay. You can go home. And let's switch control to Anton. Okay. Hadn't planned on following him to work. What do we need to do? Swab a patient. Discuss general health. Examine patient. Okay. Um, medical referral, admit to a bed, exam, swap for sample, oh were you not in a bed? Oh dear. Okay, swap her for a sample. Um, Discuss general health. Is she pregnant? Uh, check patient's ears. You'd think as chief of staff he wouldn't do that, but... Um, run tests. And as you can see with the elders, they have that kind of stooped walk. Kind of broad across the middle. You know, age has gone up to them. They've got age lines and stuff. I kind of like how the elders look. Okay, what we do with running tests? Uh, do we check her ears? Uh, examine patient. Check ears. I thought we just ran tests to find the diagnosis. Okay. And. Um, We've got a decent diagnosis. Let's check their eyes. Because we want to make... Oh, we've already done that. Discuss general health. Scan body. Take temperature. Um, I want to analyse the patient's sample. Analyze patient sample is there. And as chief of staff, we probably should have maxed out his skills as well, but we can do that in a second. Why are you eating? Why have you stopped for food? You shouldn't stop for food, you should be working. Okay, what else do we need to do? Workday ends at 7. Log the sample. Uh, let's diagnose our patient. Alright, where's our patient gone? Yeah. It's the lady with the ponytail. And she's disappeared. Oh no, she's there. compelling diagnosis we don't know yet um, log sample analysis global superstar okay I didn't realize she was pregnant 
or that she made a habit of weeing herself in the hallway. Okay, Dominic Fires has left. We're not interested in him. He's not our patient. Uh, human hijinks festival. Okay. Um, compelling diagnosis. Let's go for triple threat. So she had starry eyes, I think. Well, it could be either or. Diagnosis rendered. They can proceed with the operation on a surgery table. Ooh. Um, okay. Medical referral? No. Treat patient. Refer for medical treatment. Hopefully he won't leave in the middle of the operation. That would be a bit embarrassing. What are you playing this time? I can't even see. It's not Space Invaders. Maybe he's travelling through the bloodstream? God knows. Okay, that doesn't look good. Treatment failure. Okay, he failed. This might be a good time to go home. We can tell that... Well, you got good money for it. Okay, so we are back at the house. Let's just say... Let's sell this. So we're back at the house. And we have covered... Is that dirty? I can't tell. No. But we've covered quite a few things. We've covered elders. I mean, there's not much to say about elders because it's pretty much <laughs> liberty. <laughs> Couldn't you have taken yourself off to bed? Go on. But we've covered elders. We've covered mods and CC. And also, I can show you what you can use some of this CC. For example, MC Command Center. I want to bring up Anton's skills because he needs, to, he's been alive a long time. He knows how to do stuff. Actually, you can do lots of different things. Like, you can. I can change his age if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. That's it. Right, so I want to change his skills. So that, 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 and skill cheats. So let's set his skill in, let me see. What are you good at? You're good at dancing. So let's give you the maximum dancing. And what else? We want your logic skill. Logic. Charisma, I think we'll give you 
five. And I mean, it's up to you what you want to, what you want to put in. Because I mean, you might not want to do all of that. You might want to be quite happy to play your game as it's supposed to be played. You might not want to put in uh, mods that you know change all of that. I find it handy uh, when I'm when I'm playing with my Sims because you know doing stories and stuff. I want to be able to. There's some things I might need for a story and I can't get it done conventionally so I will change it for example we've put Anton in he's Vincent's dad I want him to be around for you know look as if he's been around for a while so you know I'm changing certain things you might not want to do that you might just want um just hair next next that's what I want in you might just want hair or clothes or, you know, something else. Did I see logic? Previous. There's logic. Oh, we've already given him logic. Okay. And then once you max out the skills, it will give you the appropriate um, dialogues and so on. But don't get me wrong, I wouldn't do this for every single sim. I wouldn't just cheat my way through the entire game. I mean, it doesn't doesn't make sense. Because then why play the game? But then some people play it like that. So it's very... As, I, as I've always said, it's really up to you how you play your game. Uh, fill all pet bowls. But you're tired. So that's it for this week's episode. I hope you've enjoyed the series. I've had fun playing with Vincent and his little family. And we have, you know, he's he moved into Willow Creek. Willow Creek? Is he in Willow Creek? I can't remember. But he's moved in. He, we've joined him from not having anyone to having a family with dogs and everything else. So please feel free to, you know, drop a comment if there's anything you don't understand or anything like that. And keep your eyes peeled for a new Sim series coming very soon to this channel. Okay, and thanks for watching. It, I've really appreciated all the comments and stuff that I've had about this series. I hope it helps somebody and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.